Hey everybody, today we're going to cover how to improve your memory with the Fibonacci study plan. Now, if you're not familiar with Fibonacci numbers, I'm going to take that take you through the process of how they work and how we can apply it to studying and retaining information very, very well. And if you stick around to the end of the video, um, I've got a, some secret information to share with you here. Um, the forgetting curve. This is how all human beings uh, learn and then start forgetting. <laughs> we learn something we're at 100% retention. Maybe you learn someone's name that you hear it at first, or you've learned a new vocabulary word, or you've read a paragraph or a page or a chapter of text or a book. We have a certain amount of retention and then we start forgetting the information initially at a very rapid pace. So you see this curve initially? That's a very, very steep slope. Now, eventually we review the information and then we start forgetting again, but it's not nearly as steep as it was earlier. Why? Because we reviewed it a second time. Now, if you review it a third time, that's it doesn't get as steep. Notice how it's kind of leveling out more and more. The more you review something, the less likely you are to forget something. Now, we all know that, but the question comes down to when exactly should I review? So this might be, let's say, an hour later, two hours later, three hours later. It comes down to what's the optimal amount of time and when should I review something? Well, it turns out we already know that the more we review something, the less often we have to review it because every time I review it, I retain it a little better. So you can utilize something called the Fibonacci sequence in your study plan. And some of you are probably familiar with the Fibonacci sequence. Basically, it's a sequence of numbers where you have the first two numbers and they will give you the, the next one. So one and one gives you the sum of one and one is two. One plus two equals three. Two plus three equals five. Three plus five equals eight and so on and so forth. That's a Fibonacci sequence. And the Fibonacci sequence has all sorts of applications um, from nature to many other things. I'm not gonna go into detail on those. I wanna talk about how you can utilize it for studying. And this is where the Fibonacci study plan comes into uh, relevance. So at the top here, we have Fibonacci numbers. At the bottom, we have a schedule of when to review. So this is just an assumption of, let's say we start our review at 12 p.m. And when I say review, this might be reviewing your notes, reviewing vocabulary, or anything else that you really need to learn. Maybe you've got a test coming up. Maybe you have a presentation coming up at work. So let's say we review the information at 12 p.m. Now, our next Fibonacci number is 1. So one hour later is when we would review at 1 p.m. The next Fibonacci number is two. So two hours later, that's 3 p.m. Now three hours later, that's 6 p.m. Five hours later is 11 p.m. And then eight hours later is 7 a.m. Now this conveniently works out to overnight, so we get to sleep. And there's a lot of benefits to learning something or reviewing something before you go to sleep. There's a lot of research on that. And then of course, first thing in the morning. Now at this point, whether or not you wanna continue going on, you could quit at any of these points how long, how far do you take this depends on how well you need to know it. You do more repetitions for information you need to know very well. And this also depends on, you know, at this point, after you've had this many repetitions, let's count them one, two, three, four, five, six repetitions at this point, you might feel very confident that you know this information inside out. Now, if you don't, you'd want to review the information again, but our next Fibonacci number would be 13. 5 plus 8 equals 13. 13 hours later, that would be 8 p.m. the next day. So, well, 8 p.m. of the same day if we're comparing to 7 a.m. So the Fibonacci study plan allows you to have some structure with regard to your studying. If you do all these repetitions in the span of 15 minutes, it's not going to be as effective as spreading them out. And spreading them out with while taking into account the Fibonacci sequence is an optimal way of studying. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of this video that if you stuck around to the end, I'd give you a little secret. This is actually experimental with regard to our YouTube audience. Uh, what I did just a few minutes ago is I set up a code on our website. Now, this code, if you enter it on our site, is going to give you a really special offer. It's going to give you half off of anything, and that's on top of any discounts that we already have on the website. So 50% off if you enter the code TUBE. Not YouTube, but just TUBE, T-U-B-E. So enter that code on the website. We're gonna we're doing this as an experiment to see um, how well our audience on YouTube responds to it. 
and it's totally experimental. I hope you take advantage of it. We've got a lot of great courses on our website if you're interested in learning about speed reading and memorization techniques and productivity and various ways to get more out of your day, whether you're a student or professional. So check that out on the website. The promo code to get half off is just tube, T-U-B-E. And we're going to be ending that in a few days or so. So thank you so much for checking this out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.